Lauren King here. I am working, this is day two of a green pool that I'm working on. You can see it's looking pretty good. Uh, there's still some work ahead left, but I uh, just wanna talk about uh, what could cause green pools and what allows algae to grow. And there's really three main factors. The first one is bad chemistry. If your chemistry's off, algae's gonna grow. The second factor is bad circulation. If you're not keeping your pool circulating, algae will for sure grow. And then the last factor is a combination of the two. If you have bad circulation and bad chemistry, guess what? You're gonna have algae in your pool. So let's talk about each of them a little more specifically. Bad chemistry. Now there's a couple parameters you really need to pay attention to uh, when trying to eliminate algae growth or a green pool. And the first one is your chlorine or sanitation level. You wanna make sure your chlorine's high enough because chlorine is what kills the algae. If you have a salt system, you wanna make sure that your salt system is producing chlorine. Next thing you wanna look at is your pH. If your pH is too high, the chlorine is less effective. In fact, I believe it's 50% uh, less effective at 7.8 than it is at 7.2. So you wanna make sure that your pH is good. Another uh, chemical you wanna look at is your stabilizer level. Is your stabilizer too high? Because your stabilizer being too high will not allow the chlorine to work as effectively. I like to call it liquid handcuffs when your stabilizer is too high. And if it's too low, then the sun's going to burn it out of the pool very quickly. And you're not going to have any residual sanitation in your pool and algae is going to grow. And if those are all in check, then you need to start looking at things like your phosphate levels, possibly nitrates and things like that to make sure that uh, you know, you're not having things introduced in the water that's not allowing the main chemicals to work properly. Now let's take a look at number two, bad circulation. Is your pool run running long enough? Is your filter clean? Those are two main things you need to look at when you're looking at your circulation. If you're not really getting a lot of pressure out of your returns, maybe your pump's going bad, maybe your filter's dirty, maybe your impeller's clogged, but either way, you need to figure out how to get your pool circulating because the circulation is what moves the chlorine around in the water to kill the algae. Then you need to think about your runtime. Now, old school train of thought is for every hour or every 10 degrees it is hot outside, you run that pump for an hour. So if it's 90 degrees outside, you need to run at least nine hours. I generally tell my clients in the wintertime, six to eight hours. And then in the summertime, when people are using it more frequently and stuff like that, it's hotter, eight, or uh, 10 to 12 hours. So those are some circulation issues that you can have uh, that would cause algae to grow. And then the last is just a combination of the two. You need to really have everything ironed out, make sure there's nothing holding uh, the circulation or the chemicals back from allowing the pool to stay clean and clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to this green pool and get it turned around. And I hope that video helped uh, you guys and stay tuned for more videos, like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend, everyone.